the next exercise is we're going to print a handling unit label. It's just an alternative way to find it. And for this demonstration, we'll be operating again in the EWM system and again within the warehouse monitor SWIMMON. We would go into the warehouse monitor. We would click on stock and bin. We would then double click on storage bin. In this particular scenario, we have a space in the rack which has a pallet with no label on. We know that that storage bin number is AA10A. So we'll input that into the storage bin and execute. The system will then give us an overview of what's in that storage bin, which will be AA10A, and the number of handling units is one. If we click on physical stock, we could confirm that that pallet is physically the one we're looking at in that storage bin. We can see the product number, the quantity, and the batch. We'll verify that that pallet is correct, and then we'll go back up to the top and click on Handling Unit tab. This will bring up the handling unit number within that storage bin again, but now if we click on the cube, it'll allow us to print the label for that handling unit. We'll click on Print Handling Unit. The following screen will appear. We'll click on the Create Action icon. And on the drop down of box of that, we will print HU label. It'll come up waiting for the status to be activated. We'll click on Execute to perform that task of printing the handling unit. And when in Go Live, the system is connected to a printer, the status would change to green and the labels we printed out on the label station. With it being red, in the, in the demo, it's because we're not connected to a printer. But this is how we would perform another alternative for printing a handling unit. This completes that exercise.